it might be difficult to think how many different images of, of space can you really take? You know, once you've seen one, it seems like you may have seen them all. But I think it's really surprising just how different we can reimagine the night sky. Astrophotography is important because it really gives us a sense of what the universe looks like. Space can seem very alien, it's nothing like our daily lives, but when we take photographs of the night sky and, and really look at our universe, that really shows us what our surrounding universe is like and, and brings it home, you know, the amazing universe that, that we do live in. In all of these photographs, they're all demonstrating something about astronomy. Anything from looking at comets to seeing flares from the sun, all of that, you know, it says something about the science of what's really going on in the universe. One of my favorite images was Beyond the Limb by Nicholas Lefferty. And I think in this image, it really gave me a sense that I was in a science fiction novel. In this picture, you can see the surface of the moon, and in the background, you see a crescent Venus. And it almost looks like it's rising over the moon. I've never seen anything quite like it. The Golden Ring by Xu Sheng Dong was also a really spectacular image. What we have here is an annular eclipse. So the moon is moving in front of the sun, blocking out its light. But in an annular eclipse, the moon's just a little bit further away from the Earth, and so you end up with a ring of light. Now, what makes this image also really special is how serendipitous it was. On the day of the annular eclipse, it was pretty cloudy, uh, but then there just happened to be a break in the clouds right when the annular eclipse was about at its maximum, and that's when he snapped the photograph. It shows just how um, difficult it is to capture some of these images. There's a family photo of the solar system, which was taken by a photographer who's only 15 years old. And so you can see our entire solar system in this image. And a colorful quadranted meteor, which is an image that shouldn't have really existed because the photographer didn't set out to take a picture of a meteor. He set out to take a picture of galaxies. And so again, it's one of those happy accidents. One of my favorite Rory images is proper welcome for the moon. And um, in this image, you not only see the aurora overhead, but you get its reflection uh, in the water. And then you also have a crescent moon in the background as well. It's really inspiring to look at. People in Space is a category in the competition that um, the images focus on people and their connection with the night sky or just the sky and astronomy. One particular image that stood out for me this year was actually the winner of the category. The image was called Lockdown, taken by Deepal Ratnayaka. And this image was taken when the UK was in full lockdown. I think this image really evokes a feeling of what it was like in lockdown kind of almost like we were missing out on life. And I think it really does capture how people connect with space and almost the longing for us to be kind of connected to the world around us when we couldn't necessarily do that. Looking at all of the photographs uh, that were shortlisted, I think you do really get a sense of how people uh, connect with space and with the wider universe. The universe that surrounds us is really amazing and I think all it takes is just a moment to, to stop and, and look and really look at it. What I'd really love is for people to get a sense of awe and wonder of the universe and um, look up and you know, start taking their own photographs of the night sky.